Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Captain of Industry. And I have been uh, kind of busy after the last episode. I have done a little bit of research. I have unlocked a few things. Uh, a couple of them just has to be, happens to be advanced distillation. We do have the tier three, uh, stage three distillation, but I don't want to use that. I want the, you have the crack and you know, I have an idea for this. Now, one of the things I've been uh, trying to do is I actually want to get a, a large scale uh, tier three construction partners. I mean, construction part factory setup over here and as you can see i sort of have a basic setup here these are doing the construction tier tier one construction parts these are doing electronic parts these are doing the tier twos and these are doing the tier threes now i have been thinking about just doing four but i'm gonna actually like make this like 16 of them uh to, in order to do that i'm gonna need a lot of things i'm gonna need uh, a lot of concrete a lot of rubber a lot of wood uh, just so happens we have the wood coming in over here we have an endless supply of it more or less and uh, do have a lot of iron and coal here so i'm probably gonna get an, uh, another big iron forge set up here because if i go down here we are actually running kind of low on what we have here uh, i do have some over here but there's not really too much and as far as the coal you know we're we got some coal but we also have a large amount of limestone now, one of the things I want to do uh, is we need to get a large, large amount of concrete being made, uh, like the concrete slabs. Now, to make the concrete slabs, I'm going to need a lot of cement. Now, uh, there's two different ways I can make the cement, I, or a couple of different ways. I have unlocked the rotary gas kiln. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, the gas kiln. Now, I can use limestone and coal to make two cement, or I can use limestone and gas, fuel gas, to make four cement. Or, uh, oh, corn farming. Uh, let me actually pause the research for a second. Okay, in fact, I'm going to actually pause the game. Uh, a few other things before we get back into that. Uh, I did unlock, uh, do some other research. I got the... Uh, the fuel the pipe balancer is set up now this actually came in quite handy for my water situation because i was getting an uh, issue where i was getting a backup of water so the, basically uh, if there's nowhere the water to go the whole system came to a grinding halt which is what's going to happen with the sulfur here but i have a plan for that too so what i've done is i've unlocked these now these are pipe balancers now you can actually set a priority of the input and output uh, it only handles one liquid so in this case here i have the input coming from the main tank here and the priority is this pipe here. Uh, this pipe actually connects to these pipes, these, these tanks over here. So this is what's uh, supplying the steam line over here. Uh, the sour water strippers are actually going back into this tank. And so basically, if th these tanks are full, this water gets pumped in through the other pipe into this tank, which goes into the drain pipes. So it automatically just purges the system to make sure it doesn't fill up. I have also done the same thing with the steam over here because I was getting a backup of st steam. So if the steam was backing up, then the heavy and light oil was backing up, and then and then the the stillers weren't running. So now I'm also having an issue with the fuel. I have a fuel backup, so we're actually going to make use of that today. Uh, what I want to do, like I said, is I want to get to cement. Now there's two different ways you can do it. Uh, you can get to the fuel gas. Fuel gas requires uh, taking sludge or any organic material going through. Uh, anaerobic digester, which was part of the biofuel, which was early research I finished up. Uh, you get the sludge from wastewater treatment. Now, I have thought about doing that, but to, in order to do this, I need the sand and the chlorine. The chlorine is just uh, brine through an electrolyzer, which I don't really care about. It's the sand, though, is going to be the problem, because the only way to get sand is to actually get it from gravel and from rock, and unfortunately, I need the sand and gravel for other things, um, like glass mainly. Uh, another thing I actually want to do too is I want to get uh, some t bigger vehicles made. I have upgraded the vehicle depot here, so I can make larger trucks. But I need these tier two vehicle parts, so I got to get those producing t as well. But for the time being, let's deal with this. Uh, so let me get something set up, and I'll sh I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so here's what I got. So I got two cracking units. I got the first one set up, taking in diesel from the big tank over here. And that's going to be outputting, uh, it's going to be taken in diesel and steam. That's going to be output into a second cracking unit, which is going to be turning the naphtha into fuel. Uh, both are going to be outputting sour water, which is going through uh, this pipe over here, going all the way up to this little uh, maze of pipes here, right into the sour water tank line, which is going to go into the sour water stripper, which is all, of course, going to be uh, making water and all that 
kind of stuff. And then, uh, yeah, then I got the steam coming in off the main line over here. So now then what I've done is I've got a, a tank set up here and that's going to be taking in uh, the fuel. I do have a pipe balancer already set up with, an, uh, with a, a flare on it. Now the flare in the tank, you can't direct, connect directly to this. You actually do need to have a pipe hooked up to it. Uh, so I've got a, uh, the priority set to this tank here. So when this tank is full of uh, fuel gas, then it's going to start pumping up the flare just to make sure that this thing keeps, keeps running. Now with that... We're going to take that and we're going to turn that into concrete. Oh, that's an autosave. So now I've been thinking about uh, this limestone deposit. Now I have these guys here already working. Now I've actually thought about setting up the main concrete line up here because uh, I do will have to reroute these pipes to get the rest of this uh, coal out of the way or pipe and conveyor. Uh, so I've been thinking about setting up the kilns here. Now we have the rotary gas kilns now. So we'll go into where are they going to be? In here somewhere. There we are. So I've got the gas kiln now. Uh, this is going to be taking the fuel that we're making and the limestone that I'm mining here. That's going to make us a whole bunch of concrete. So now uh, uh, we're going to be taking that, and then after that, it's going to be going to. Hang on. How was I going to do this? Yes, I was going to do that with uh, the water. And the water, we should be getting excess water from the sour, uh, the cracking units from the sour water that they're creating with that to be able to supply this with water. So let me get this set up and then I'll be right back. Oh yes, yeah, so one more thing I forgot about the sulfur. Uh, the limestone that we're going to be taking, we're also going to be mixing with the sulfur in the mixers to make the slag that we're going to be, uh, going to be crushing to make and make into a crushed slag, which we're going to be mixing with the cement and the water to make the concrete slabs. That's actually what I forgot about because we have all the excess sulfur there, so let's make use of it. Okay, I think I have it all set up here. So this is uh, a bit of a mess, but again, we start with the cracking units, which are, which are taking the diesel, turning it into eventually fuel, I have the sour water going back into the sour water strippers, into the tanks over there, they're turning that into sulfur and ammonia, the sulfur I have going all the way back over to here the concrete line. Uh, I have mixers set up here that are taking in sulfur and limestone. Uh, this control tower is setting the limestone going into here which is providing the glass line and also providing this line that is uh, supplying both these mixers and these kilns. Uh, the fuel gas is coming from over here where the, the cracking units. I do have a uh, tank set up for that. I do have water coming in from the main line over here, there, over to here to some spare tanks, which are going to uh, the concrete mixers. And uh, I had them set up here. I don't know why I did that because I don't actually need water here, but it's there anyways. And then I have these two creating slag, which goes into a rock crusher, which creates crushed slag, which goes into here, which as I see, I forgot to hook up the chutes for it. As I was saying, uh, I got the rock crusher crushing the slag, making it into crushed slag, which goes into a storage container over here, which feeds the mixers, which are taking in the cement from the, um, the the gas kilns, which are making everything out of limestone, all that stuff, making it into concrete, and they're going into storage. So that is one part of the problem. I do have to get some more excavators going. Uh, probably go ahead and actually, do I have any anywhere I can borrow? Uh, I'm going to have to reassign some more mine area here. Let's actually do that right now while we're at it. Uh, see what we have left for mining area, mineable area. Uh, I do know that there is this here, so maybe I think we might actually go ahead and uh, just strip the whole thing. To make sure I don't get too close to those conveyors and pipes. And that's just keeping busy for a little while. We do have to keep the steel going. All right, and I think that is pretty much everything. Got the water and all that taken care of. Got it going. As you can see, I have started researching tier three pipes. I want to make sure that uh, I have a feeling that I'm gonna need more water here than I actually need, uh, or than I actually have. Uh, tier three construction parts might be an issue. We'll see how everything keeps rolling here. Uh, since I have a supply of tier twos, Maybe we'll go ahead and just shut this conveyor off for now. So, yeah, I will bring you back when this is all done. While they're doing that, I should also mention too, I 
Decided I was gonna start uh, extend extending another port here to uh, get another cargo port here, or build another jetty, I should say, and build another cargo port here so we can go start getting that coal mine going. Uh, as far as cargo ships go, uh, there is actually a settlement up here. I can buy one for 600 of the tier 3 parts, but uh, that's a bit pricey right now. But once we get this all set up, we'll get into that. But anyways, I'm going to let these guys finish. They are going to be a little bit, and I'll bring you back once done. Okay, after about 20 minutes of waiting, yeah, I guess it was about 15, 20 minutes, I did have to pause the uh, tier 3 construction parts because I needed more tier 2 construction parts. But this is the last thing that needs to be done is to fi fix, uh, fill in that tank. Uh, as you can see, I have the sulfur in the water and the fuel gas lines going already. We already have water there. We're just waiting on the fuel. Uh, something I had to do is I actually had to turn uh, import and export off on all these machines because. Uh, I noticed that as soon as it started, it got built, and I could take in, uh, take input, the trucks would actually waste their time trying to fill these machines up instead of building the rest of the line. But I think we are ready. So the cracking units are cracking away. They're outputting the gas. We should have gas going to the kilns eventually. Oh yeah, that's right, uh, the pipe has to fill up first. Uh, it's kind of odd how the, the whole pipe has to fill up completely before it actually reaches the machines, but it's just how it is, but everything is all set up, so uh, as soon as it's cracking here, it's done cracking, we should be good to go. I shouldn't have to worry about any backup issues or supply issues. Missing input. And why are you taking so long? Hold on. Doing six in every twenty, and you need eight every twenty. All right, well that's simple. We'll just boost that then. That's what Unity's for. Uh, why am I short on Unity? Oh yeah, because I was uh, boosting these up too. Because I was having uh, having concrete supply issues on this side of the line. Take those off, and that should keep us going. And that should keep it going. I probably should have had two of these going for one of those, but. Uh, that'll work, and I believe we have concrete. All right, so everything is up and running. We have uh, the gas kilns running. Uh, it looks like they're going to have an apple supply. This tank should be filling up soon. Uh, let me actually see what my supply is going to be needed here. I need the 12 every 40. And what's the cracking you're doing? 20 every 40. All right, so we are good on that. So it's just a matter of the, all the gas lines being filled up. So as you can see, that is filling up. This is starting to fill up slowly. And I'm sure it will. Uh, it's just a matter of making sure that this can, can, continues on. And as long as I have diesel, this is going to actually go up. I might actually have to double up this production because I think we might be able to use that for something else. But that is the, the, the first step that should keep everything going. Uh, always having this backup issue here. Uh, if it's not the steam problem, not if it's diesel, if it's not the diesel, it's the water. If it's not the water, it's just sour water. But everything is holding up. It looks like we might have to get some more water into the system. But until then, I think we're going to leave it here. Uh, we have an apple supply of concrete going in. That's really good. And that's going to help us with our uh, big project way up here. Uh, until then, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.